we were done over there and I looked up at this run right here and there's this beautiful piece of snow and I was like, we gotta do that, Eric. You got the legs? He's like, yeah, I do. So we hiked up that thing and for Mary. And we talked about Mary, his cousin that he lost. And we, right there, I don't know if it's you or me or together, we just said, this is gonna be Mary's run from now on, right? Yeah, buddy. I was having a uh, super, super hard time uh, dealing with her not being around. So then we're leaving and we're, you know, we cut out over here and I always take the same route and Eric was above me a little ways. I said, oh, Eric, it's down here. He's like, no. He goes, I'm going this way. I was like, okay. So I turn around and he's, he's bent over picking something up off of the, uh, the ground. And uh, I walked back to it and he's, he found an arrowhead, a beautiful copper colored arrowhead. I mean, it was like amazing. When you were little kids, you and Mary used to go hunt for arrowheads where you lived down near Pueblo? I mean, I was, I was dumbfounded. I was like, then it hit me. It's, it hits me now, you know? Story. Yeah. I, I mean, I, it's too, too much of a coincidence. I mean, it's... I mean, what made Eric take that high route that day? I mean, and I decided to follow him. I mean, we would have never, he'd have never found that arrowhead, you know? Probably the, the most amazing story in my 25 years out here doing this, with bar none, you know? Bar none. She, uh, like I said, this, I think, was just her way of reaching out and kind of just telling me to get on with life and enjoy it. Yeah, I couldn't think of a better way. I'm so glad we ran into you up here, man. 